Tonight at 6, the search for a new Duval County superintendent is now coming under fire from the NAACP. The organization is raising questions about the process of hiring a new superintendent for Duval County Public Schools as the district searches for a replacement for Dr. Diana Green. Dr. Green retired earlier this month. The NAACP's questions come after longtime Duval County Public Schools employee and former Clay County School Superintendent Addison Davis announced that he's moving back to Northeast Florida. Davis resigned from his post as superintendent of Hillsborough County Public Schools. He's expressed interest in becoming Duval's superintendent, but the district district says it hasn't made any hiring decision yet. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell joins us with what the NAACP's concerns are and how school district leaders are responding. Well, the NAACP sent a strongly worded letter to the school board earlier this week saying they were worried the board had already made a decision to hire Davis. But the school board chair tells us they have not yet identified or interviewed any candidates. And Davis himself told us just this morning he's not even sure if he's going to apply to the superintendent job here in Duval County. We want to be sure that, number one, we are included in the process. Isaiah Rumlin is the president of the Jacksonville branch of the NAACP. In this letter to the Duval County School Board, he says, quote, it seems the school board has already predetermined its next leader. He's referring to Addison Davis, who told the Tampa Bay Times he's not applying to the open Duval County Public Schools superintendent position. But he's not discounting the idea that someone might offer it to him. This morning, Davis told News for Jax he has not yet decided whether he will apply for the job. As his resignation as Hillsborough County School Superintendent doesn't go into effect until July 14th, he wouldn't want to create a conflict. But he also said if Duval County reached out to him about applying, he'd be open to having a conversation. But he says no conversations have happened so far. Does that make you feel any better? Oh, not really, because I mean, he's already sold his home. So, you know, he's coming back to Jacksonville. Uh, but we want to make sure that the process is fair and uh, that the community is totally engaged. In response to Rumlin's letter, Duval County School Board member Lori Hershey said, I can assure you that I have not predetermined who our next superintendent will be and look forward to the process ahead. I am welcome to meet with you if you believe it would be beneficial. Do you plan on meeting with her? Oh, yeah, we, we're going to meet. School board chair Dr. Kelly Coker said today she's had recent conversations with NAACP leadership to address their concerns. She also said the only decision that's been made so far is selecting the Florida School Boards Association to conduct a national search. In a statement, Dr. Coker said, quote, I think this school board's history of engaging the public in critical decisions is well established, and that is fully our intent with this national search. The next step in the process of finding a new school superintendent is engaging the community. The school board has a workshop scheduled with their consultant to talk about how they're going to do that, scheduled for mid-July. Reporting live from the South Bank and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.